Well, has there been um, given an official um, amount of time that the Matthews have been in the town? I've kind of tried to figure it out in my head. Sometimes it seems like a couple of weeks. And then uh, my podcast co-host, he thinks, oh, it's got to have been a month. Have they said for you all, like, how long you've been there? When, like at the start of season two? I think what's really cool about From is that you kind of don't know exactly okay. how it is. And yeah. It really does, like, it It makes you feel as lost as the characters, like, within. Okay. I don't, know. Sure. I don't, even, I don't even know how long it's been. So I think it's. Okay. It's, okay. Part of the mystery. So of many course. questions. Gotta, always got to build the suspense. <laughs> well, it does feel like not very long. So we don't know for sure, but it doesn't feel like very long. It feels like Julie's had to grow up super fast with all that's happened um you know over the first season and into the second so do you think that tabitha uh moving forward a little bit um i think into episode three she opens up and trusts um julie with the information about what she's seeing you know julie asked her a couple times and at first she doesn't want to say but then she eventually does could that have happened when they first came to town I don't think so. I think that their relationship, um, mother, daughter, but also every relationship within the Matthews really, really strengthened over the course of season one through to season two, um, just with the shared trauma and the potential of losing each other. Like it really weighs heavy on all of them. And I think they now all have a shared understanding that we are all we have and we cannot shut each other out. That's not, that's not how we're going to get through this. We need yeah. to be there. For each other. So I think it's, I think it's really beautiful. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, and one more question. I'm trying to figure out where, how Julie survived that night when her dad was under the house. So, you know, Kenny tries to distract her and, but then eventually she hears the screaming and just, you know, as you would imagine, loses it. How did she ever calm down enough to make it through that night? I almost think Christy would have had to have given her a sedative or something. <laughs> Gosh, I, I know, you know, I think also you see the, the woman who got off the yep. bus, mm -hmm. she also was there to cover her and even just these new people around her, even though it would be scary and, you know, Randall's holding Kenny at gunpoint. It's like so many things are happening. And I always know after I have a really good cry, I knock mm -hmm. out. So okay. I think it's yep. very similar. it might be hard to imagine why Julie ended up ever falling asleep, but I, I think it, all of it finally just came down on her and her body just kind of shut off because I can imagine how horrendous that feeling yeah. must be that was that was crazy um well we may have time for for just one more how do you like just come down at night after filming you, the, your character has so many highs and lows I mean everyone how do you just sort of get to that chill spot again after yeah I think I think I'm very good at um differentiating character from my real life emotion and mm -hmm. so when I come back from work there could be days where it's really and there has been days where it's really really taken a, a toll on me physically emotionally you know mm -hmm. when you're actually crying it is still you crying and your body's still going through the the fight or flight feeling but um just on like regular days and even though the, the nature of the show is quite dark I just come home and I can chill by myself or go out and see some friends and they mm -hmm. always they're just such comforting people to be around the whole cast. So yeah, it's great to have that um, connections out there to help me if I'm down. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, 